I reached Halloween day now. Yeah, I didn't go out this day, but before I went to bed, just before four in the morning, I took a look at the weather, and it's <laughs> not going to be a nice day. It's going to be a rainy day, yeah, and I'm still not really feeling all that great. And I will be explaining why I think that is now at a later time, but I just didn't feel like going out. So we do have our wind warning now, and this wind is what's going to be bringing in the heavier squalls within the next little while. And temperatures aren't that great, but they're not really all that bad yet. But there's just lots of rain in there. And as the day goes on, it's going to get colder and colder, and then the snow's going to kind of start to blanket us, I guess you could say. <laughs> so then I took a look at the radar. Um, I don't know what to think about that. <laughs> I have <clears throat> never seen anything like that in my life. That does not look natural to me. It's just crazy. Later on, I woke up and I could see snowflakes through my curtain. Uh, I call them cookie flakes because they're really large, like the size of cookies. So I just <laughs> kind of looked outside and went back to went back to sleep. So when I finally woke up, I checked the radar, and well, the snow's definitely here. Hard to really say whether it's all coming from the lake or not, because there's lots around. It might just be remnants of that strange system that came through, but some of it's obviously originating over the lake. And it's trying its hardest to change from rain to snow. I did a quick video, stuck the camera in the window just to show it, in case it melts before I go out. Even though I didn't go out. <laughs> but I didn't know I wasn't going out at that time. So I just kind of wanted to show that there is snow on the ground now. And then a couple hours later, we get our snow squall watch. And later on that evening, there it is. <laughs> I did stick the camera in the window to do a bit of a, a time lapse, but it just it looks like crap. And when it gets dark, it's even worse. So, but I just wanted to show that it is here. It is falling, and it has begun. Quarter after eight that evening, our snow squall watch turned into a warning, which means we're getting them. Looking at the radar, yeah, it's definitely coming from the lake. But it's pretty scattered right now, so won't be getting anything intense just yet. And around midnight, I checked again, and the squalls are organizing now. So this is where we will get our accumulation from. Once they organize, they just kind of stay over one particular area. Well, in this case, multiple areas, but they just concentrate and they drop a ton of snow. Yeah, it's even heading all the way down into the states. So it's kind of a widespread event at this point. The next day, I got woke up by the scanner. Um, I'm not sure if this was weather related or not. I have a suspicion that it was, so that's why I'm going to play. But you'll hear right at the beginning, that no kids were injured, so I don't mind playing this. Road and Bach Line. 
Attention North Road, Wingham Firefighters. Please attend at Howick, Turnberry Road, and Bach Line. Food car versus school bus. One patient with back pain and leg pain. Uh, 15 students on the bus, no injuries. It's 831, November 2nd. Attention North Huron, Blight Firefighters. This is an information page only. Wingham has just been paged to Howard Turnberry Road and Bach Line for a car versus school bus. Fire dispatch, North Huron Fire Chief. Danger Dodge for Wingham Station. We'll be responding shortly. Roger that, PJ College, day 32. Fire dispatch, car 2. Car 2, go ahead. Dispatch, you want to give one page off the fly tower and have them respond at the same time? Roger that. Paging Blythe to respond with tank nine. Attention, North Huron Blythe firefighters. Please respond with tank nine to Howick Turnberry Road and Bach Line to assist with Wingham with the car versus school bus. Uh, one patient with back pain and leg pain, 15 students on the bus with no injuries. Please respond with Tank 9, Howick Turnberry Road, and Bach Line. Fire dispatch, show car to responding. Fire dispatch, North Huron Engine 1 responding, Alpha plus 3 belted. If you can just uh, repeat what apparatus is going. Roger that dispatch. Engine one responding, Alpha plus three. Roger that, engine one responding, Alpha plus three. Fire dispatch, North here in 10 4 responding, Bravo plus two belted, or er, Bravo plus one belted, sorry. Tank 4 responding, Bravo plus 1. Fire dispatch, North here in car 2 arriving on scene. Uh, you can show EMS on scene. Roger that, car 2 on scene with EMS at 8.37. And a mobile. Roger that, Canadian is mobile. Fire dispatch, tank 9. Responding, car three, bus three, belted. Fire dispatch, North Carolina, engine one and tank four on scene. Where is that? Tank four on scene. Fire dispatch, North Carolina, command. Command, go ahead. Dispatch, I've met with uh, here in EMS. We have one patient being treated. Uh, EMS reports all students on the bus. I've checked out okay. We'll just have the road closed for now until we'll be the attend. Roger that. One patient being treated. Uh, road will be closed. If you could relay to tank 9 and have them stand down and return to Blythe Station. Go ahead, Tank 4. Tank 4, is that bus coming to pick up the students? Yeah, she can come down here and just park in behind engine 1 for now. Bravo, command. Go ahead, 
Thanks, man, Bravo. Yeah, let's get this car disabled up here. Yeah, roger that. Tank 4, command. You can have that bus come up here if you'd like. Command, I don't think Tank 4 is a driver. EMS is leaving scene. Fire is about to start here, Command. Go ahead, Command. Dispatch, we have uh, EMS clearing scene with patients en route to Wingham Hospital. EMS is clearing. Tank 4, Command. Yeah, this bus is going to back right down to you. Can you help her? Fire dispatch, North Command. Disabled. Go ahead, Command. Dispatch, you can mark. We have all 15 students offloaded the one bus onto a safe bus on their leaving seat. Roger, all 15 students they're on a safe bus and leaving scene. Bravo, Alpha. Go ahead, Alpha, bro. Still have emergency lights on that vehicle. Fire dispatch, North here in command. Go ahead, command. I would assume you're crazy busy this morning, but if you could get an ETA on OPP, that would be great. But, uh, not urgent. Can't fly. Command, you have OPP coming to you. Yeah, Roger. Thank you. Fire dispatch, we have OPP on scene. Roger that. We have Burkholder and Zoid coming up to you. Roger. Bravo, Command. Go ahead, Command. Uh, that tow truck's probably better to come around block line. He's not going to be able to tow it from the front. He's backing up there. He's out of my reach now. He's just past per Jonathan Eelman's there now. Yeah, Roger. Thank for command. Go ahead, command. Thank for. Uh, we can uh, open the road and return to station. Roger that. Turn to station. Fire dispatch. North turn command. Go ahead, command. Scene's been left with OPP. Fire's clear. All units returning. Roger. Scene left with OPP. Fire clear. All units returning. I never did get back to sleep after that, so I was up a little bit earlier than I normally am. But that's okay. I wanted to go out and show the snow before too much of it melted. So, I'm going to risk damage to the motor and go out for a snow tour.
Monster's running really slow now. Uh, coming up through the trail, it's all uphill. And with the snow melting, the ground is now quite damp and soft, which would add to the resistance. So, definitely a problem here. And when I get home, trying to back up that incline with snow on it. <laughs> Not the easiest thing to begin with, but there's just no power. And with the new controller, reverse is really slow, so quite an issue getting up there. And the smell coming from the motor is so strong now. So, I think it's time. <laughs>